The trees are speaking Vietnamese. Tell me the secrets of your forest. Oh, that's why the forest is speaking Vietnamese. It's the Vietnam War, but like, not the regular Vietnam War, because we gotta ask the question, as we do with any war, what would happen if zombies invaded during the Vietnam War? Because you gotta remember something. Zombies don't care about your political affiliations, man. If you die, you get bit by a zombie, well, guess what happens? The zombie virus takes over and you join the army of the living dead, undead living. Why is it so complicated? How can you be living and dead? How can you be undead? I, I don't understand. Now, while the zombies got like a pretty potent weapon called the zombie virus, I mean, these American troops from Vietnam have a World War II era uh, German grenade. <laughs> it's totally accurate. Some uh, great looking M16s. This is our machine gunners. Sergeant, sniper, radio man. Yeah, guess what he does with the radio? Artillery. We got shotguns and we got bazookas. And since bazookas are so big, we're gonna wear welding. <laughs> Helmets? What? Why? Now this special unit has a little compact Kalashnikov and a big old knife. These guys are the runners. Uh, I, I, I'm expecting them to do a little bit of running and warm the Americans up for dealing with like the zombies, right? Okay, guys, you're supposed to be running. Why are you like all coordinated dancing and firing guns behind you? This, I don't think you learned this in your training, did you? Look at this guy. Okay, the runners may be the least effective soldiers I've ever seen because this unified front of American firepower seems to be more than enough to dispatch the uh, Vietnamese breakdancing team. <laughs> I remember reading about like an American sniper during Vietnam and he had a rival in I think it was the NBA or the Viet Cong and they would have these just like epic kind of cat and mouse games where they were both trying to get each other. So like you gotta think that like the Vietnamese were fighting in their land so they probably had really really good snipers right? They might do really good against zombies because right now it seems that the Americans are able to kind of deal with these ambushes but let's set up a proper ambush scenario. Billy Bob, Charlie's in the trees. I see him Bobby Bill but I think they are literally in the trees. <laughs> so this is a bit of an ambush situation and it looks like the Americans got their butts kicked. Wait a minute, why is it snowing in this area of Vietnam? I thought they were jungles and I thought everybody had regular sized heads. <laughs> but there were a lot of various war reports within the US intelligence, reports from the NBA, intercepted messages of what the Vietnamese called baby Baba Yagas. <laughs> <clears throat> Baby Baba Yagas, yeah. Like, people dying, coming back to life, and fighting other humans. So, the Americans sent their Green Beret Special Forces units in to investigate a local village where apparently a breakout had taken place. They found the village completely abandoned, or so they thought. Because out of the rice fields came the Green Hordes, the zombies, running in unison like a great conga line at your aunt's wedding. And all you want is the cake, but you have to do the dance. The Macarena dance. The surviving Spec Ops members set up a meet. They met with the leaders of the NVA, and they realized to survive the zombie apocalypse, they'd have to work together. They would need to build a fortress to hold out, but many would die. But finally our heroes decided on a spot to make their valiant last stand where they would have to survive against endless waves of the undead. It was a natural defensive point, a bridge, a narrow choke point that was easily defended both on the high ground, the low ground, and the two surrounding ramps creating <clears throat> a middle ground. But the biggest issue was that not all of the soldiers had arrived yet. Only a small platoon of Americans in North Vietnamese were there. Fortunately, they were supported by some heavy artillery in their bazookas and an elite sniper from both nations. But the bridge had to be held, so a brave Vietnamese soldier stepped up. He was known as the runner. He liked to run. And against them was 150 zombies. Now, obviously, these soldiers are given the order 
to hold their ground. Oh my goodness, bazookas are very effective against, against masses of zombies. This is gonna be interesting. Can the bazookas fire from the high ground down to the low ground? If they can, well then, I mean, I think, oh yeah. I think this is gonna be easily defended. And these guys, not really listening to their orders, are deciding to hold the middle ground. I wonder how many zombies it would take to take this Oh, <laughs> Soldier, you done messed up. Oh God, these guys are reloading at the wrong time. Now they will fall, but I think there's enough soldiers left blocking both sides that they should survive, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. They have some incredible firepower. So that was two, 150 zombies. Now we're gonna double it to just over 300. Oh my god, in slow motion. Totally accurate battle simulator in its ragdoll physics are absolutely incredible. That is a brave maneuver. I don't think it's very smart, but he decided to try to dodge zombies by going through them. Kind of like a, a combat slide. Slow motion zombie apocalypse. The great defense. This is uh, a situation where you kind of wish Tabs had better first person or in third person control. What a shot right through that guy's heart, which normally you think you got to hit the zombies in the brain stems, right? But if Tabs had better unit control when shooting, this would be so much fun. It is awesome to watch. It's really going to come down to these firing lines on the side. Oh no, that is not how you defend. You do not defend by jumping off. He was too scared. He was very frightened by the zombies. And it looks like the zombies are picking the Vietnamese side. Oh. Oh no, that, that's not the way to do it, folks. How many zombies are left? Uh, yeah. That's what you'd call a lot of zombies. This map is an amazing one. Gentlemen, you need to reload much faster. The zombies are right there and they're gonna bite you. Ooh, shots at point blank range. Seems to be just enough, but these guys just keep, I don't know. Maybe it's monsoon season. <laughs> that would be cool. You could have like modifiers where you could have like tsunamis, storms, wind. Ooh. Yeah, we've lost so many soldiers and it was mostly just cause they jumped off. Um, we've got one bazooka man and one sniper up here. And <laughs> what a shot. This guy's like YOLO, and he just jumped off and bazooka them. He took a lot out. Buddy, that was an amazing play, and that's highlight reel worthy. But if you would have just stayed alive, you probably could have killed more. Oh, man, what a shot. How many is that? 20? That was incredible. Incredibly dumb, but also incredible. Uh-oh. And look, these guys are like, you know what? Maybe only one of us needs to hold this side. You guys are, you know what? Here we go, I've got a way to solve this. Excuse me, band director. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, if you could just take a little walk this way. Thank you. <laughs> now these guys have the authority and orders to move freely. Oh my God, maybe I shouldn't have done that because now you guys are gonna start walking off. What is the matter with these soldiers? They're totally accurate Vietnam era soldiers. <laughs> Look at that band director over there. Oh, oh. I was gonna say, there's not too many left, but look at this mob. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's incredible. Okay, so what we need here is actually to take this guy. I can't move, even even when I'm taking control of this. You know what, I kinda wanna bazooka him in the head. All right, bud. Oh, big bazooka shot, okay. Uh, I don't know how quickly the bazooka reloads, but I think, Oh, and the sniper's kind of like a one-hit kill, but it's a very slow fire rate. And against massive- Oh yeah, a little friendly fire never hurt anybody, except your friends, which is why it's called friendly fire. And then you just broke your back. Okay. We've got a problem where what we need is I'm thinking what we want to do is fortify the low ground with some heavy machine guns and shotguns and bazookas. But you gotta admit, this is definitely one of the coolest levels and it's probably one that I haven't played in quite a bit. So some machine gunners and bazookas on the low ground. Uh, unfortunately, they must have emptied their magazines and they need to reload. I was expecting them to hold, but because of the uniqueness of dabs, ooh, big sniper shot. Oh, okay. You guys, we should have given you guys parachutes. I don't think they're gonna survive. Oh my God, they both survived. And then one guy fired his bazooka, hit the ground, 
did some friendly fire and now we have one of the coolest looking explosions and the sniper's like you know what they're gonna make a movie about me oh my god one of your feet is not the same size as the other no wonder you lost your footing because you kind of lost your foot oh dude seeing sniper shots in slow motion is extremely extremely satisfying these guys are doing really good keeping these guys well alive for at least a decent amount of time until they oh my gosh commit sudoku <laughs> these bazooka guys cannot be trusted dude just look at all of the eyeballs it's a pretty terrifying sight what if you could like have a toggleable switch where you make smart ai where like the ai is like you know what maybe i'm not gonna run off the side of uh the buildings and i'm not gonna just fall into the great abyss to my own death that would be pretty cool i would really like it for situations like this my goodness you think we're ever gonna get a tabs too or is if if landfalls like you know what we've developed tabs for like five or six years we're getting tired of it <laughs> just like this guy who's getting tired of this map he's like see you later nerds <laughs> bro i don't know if you get a respawn man oh oh this is bad there's not too many defenders these guys are getting flanked on both sides i think it's safe to say that we need something a little bit different to survive this and i think i think i've got an idea all right we're gonna go to the dynasty faction and we are gonna get some serious firepower in the form of watches. One thing that's annoying is like, you can't just like see behind this very easily. You gotta scroll in here and like, oh yeah, there you go. There's a Hawacha there, Gregory. I'm like my name's not Gregory. Hawachas in slow motion against mass units. Tell me if there's something more interesting to see in slow motion. Now, if you could make these Hawachas like multiple bazookas, Oh, there we go. They all fired in unison. Look at this. And the rocket's red glare. Zombies flying in air. Gave proof through the people. That Tabs was pretty dang cool. There you go. That's my that's my song. Uh, I'm putting it up on Spotify. So if you could like and subscribe to my MySpace page, that'd be really sweet. All right. Um, I think we've wiped out more. What it's... <laughs> <laughs> holding on for dear life like hey man i got it oh wait 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 why are you firing straight up oh because you're dumb too what is with these tabs units cannot hang with this level man what was supposed to be a savior of humanity is just turning out to be an absolute shamakery that's a sham mo and a mockery right now the watches are kind of creating like obstacles in a way <laughs> the sound effects are absolutely silly. Whoa, 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 whoa. These guys just teleported out of nowhere. This is the point where we've played tabs for long enough in the episode to where, like, we start to break the game. Now we only have one Hawacha left and one sniper, but the sniper's gonna have... You're gonna... Oh, my gosh. You're getting ready to friendly fire this. All right, what we need to do is this guy needs to go this way. <laughs> it's called a tactic. Oh, we have a few soldiers alive on this right side and one's like i don't want to get bit i'm giving up and this guy just died okay i don't know how but he did watches you guys are you guys might be the worst duo ever it's like when you're playing a game and like your friends like and you're both trying to score a goal or get a kill and you just stumble over each other and you end up losing that's what just happened here this has been tabs zombies versus the vietnam era factions and honestly i need like a nuclear weapon of some kind. This is not gonna work out well, but we're doing it anyway. Shotgunners, we haven't tried them really. And we just added a ton of bazookas in this front line. So let's see what happens here. Oh my gosh, collateral shots. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Epic explosions, people from both flactions. Flactions? Factions firing and flying all over the place. It's getting crazy. You can't even see anything, there's so much smoke. So can this many bazookas survive against the zombie apocalypse? I, I, the answer has to be yes, right? But they all fired at the same time. <laughs> what just happened? The entire formation collapsed. I swear to God, if you guys can't win this, actually there's, there's not a whole lot on this side. What about the other side? Oh yeah, there's a big army over there. Oh, and here come the shotgunners, man. 
firing like multiple bullets at once. It doesn't look like it's enough to kill them, but it does kind of stun them and push them back. And eventually it does kill them. And that stalls them long enough for the bazookas to make some pretty big impacts. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little bit of a friendly fire bumps there, but they were able to pull it out at the end. I don't know. I don't know. It, without mass numbers, they were not able to defeat the zombies. So pull the trigger like button if you did enjoy this episode of Tabs and leave your ideas for the next video below. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.